subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello everyone. In my latest column for the print, I write about how Beijing is cracking down on certain publications in China. Beijing has cracked down on Chai Xin, Chai Jing, 21st Century Business Herald, and Economic Observer. These are publications that write about economic issues in China, and they have boldly reported about certain issues such as the Evergrande crisis and the upcoming property tax in China. People are not happy with the kind of economic changes that are underway in China, and Beijing has been cracking down on publications like Chai Xin by making sure they don't write about stuff which is against the kind of narrative that Beijing is trying to build with the common prosperity campaign and other campaigns that Xi Jinping has started in recent times. On 20th October, Cyberspace Administration of China published a list. This list includes 1300 sources which are approved by Beijing. And in this list, we've seen that Chai Xin and three other publications were missing. That's when certain media outlets reported that Chai Xin had been excluded from a list of sources which is a list about reproducing content of publications onto other websites. So in China, news media content is reproduced on other clients such as Tencent and platforms which cater content by news producers. And Chai Xin and three other publications were excluded from that list. This is not the first time Chai Xin has come under trouble. In 2016, the same organization, CAC, deleted certain articles by Chai Xin and Chai Xin hit back by reporting about how this process happened and the way the articles were deleted. And Chai Xin remains one of the more bold reporting outlets in China, even though they might self-censor some of the reporting. That's how you have to align with the party's goals within China if you want to remain in business. Experts that watch Chinese state media believe that the latest crackdown on Chai Xin will not stop Chai Xin from reporting. Chai Xin has subscription revenue, which is a substantial amount of revenue that the company makes uh, from the paywall that they have put in front of the Chinese version and the English version as well. And that is how Chai Xin has been able to survive in the Chinese media ecosystem. They also had private investment from uh, companies like Alibaba. And we've also seen recently Alibaba had disappeared from a list of uh, investors that had invested in Chai Xin. And similarly, even Tencent, which is one of the investors in Chai Xin, had disappeared from that list. So Beijing is trying to remove certain private investment in news media outlets. And there was a law that was reiterated recently where they were asked to remove the kind of private investment that still exists in certain independent news media outlets and also broadcasting outlets. By doing so, Beijing wants to make sure all the news outlets are in line with the kind of narrative building that Beijing usually does whenever a issue is in the news. There are two significant events which are coming up and those events could explain why Xi Jinping has cracked down on economic reporting. One is the upcoming property tax which will be imposed in certain parts of China as a pilot. This property tax is not exactly popular among the elites in Beijing and Shanghai. This was recently reported by Wall Street Journal. And this property tax could start further debate about the direction the country is taking under the common prosperity campaign. And similarly, there's another event which is coming up next year. That's the National Party Congress, an important event where the major leaders of the Communist Party get together and discuss the direction of the country, even though it's a top-down model, but that event is significant where it can signal the direction the country could take. And therefore, uh, Beijing wants to make sure ahead of this event, there is no kind of uh, disturbance in the news media world. <laughs>